In this video, we are going to be playing a drawn game of charades. Our guest Doug Doug will have to draw a popular character in a place doing something. The catch being, Doug Doug is not an artist. We as artists have to take his nonsensical drawings and try to figure out what they mean by redrawing them. If somebody on the artist team manages to guess the character, place, and activity correctly, the artist team will get a point. If nobody gets all three, Doug Doug gets a point. If Doug Doug loses, he will have to tweet something without context. If we lose, he gets a free piece of art. And it's free to subscribe. It really, really helps out. Doug Doug, do you have an idea for a popular character in a place doing something? I do. I have I have a couple in mind. I'm ready, yeah. But okay, but here's the thing. I have included, I'm gonna include a hint in every single one that makes it very easy to know what's going on, okay? Okay, a hint, okay, interesting. Okay, here is my beautiful drawing titled <laughs> Sonic at Disneyland. Okay. 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 Oh man. Um I know exactly what this is. Do you? Do you really? Yeah. Like God put me on this earth to draw this exact picture. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's gonna make me feel really good about my drawing unless you're way off. I don't. I, if if I'm way off, then I have to quit art. That's that's how confident I am. I'm definitely I'm throwing if I if I if I say this one thing, but I'm ready. Uh, uh, Doctor, are you ready to uh, to see the reveals? Yes. All right, ready. <laughs> These are really good. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Frodo throws the onion ring into the fires of Kirby. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Um. <laughs> uh, Kirby is clearly baked into the mountain, and this was... I didn't know if you would get onion ring. I, could, I didn't know if that was, like, a determinable thing. So I added a little uh, steam on top of it. But, yeah, that oh. is correct. That, that is beautiful. Yeah. I thought the, the, the birds were, like, the McDonald's arches. But do they even have onion rings? No, no. Oh. That, was the, that was the very obvious hint, guys. Those were the eagles. You know how everybody complains about the eagles at the oh, end of the game that could just solve it? Eagles. Uh, Incredibly obvious seagulls? hint. Technically, Buff Pup, looking at yours, yours is the most inaccurate because it is <laughs> throwing the onion ring into the fires of Mount Kirby, and this is just Kirby eating an onion ring in the Rocky Mountains. So he's technically, just having a good time. <laughs> he's just having a great time. But technically, uh, that's not quite the prompt. Okay, I look at Ross's Frodo mm -hmm. getting rid of an onion ring at Mount Doom, but Kirby has gone big mouth mode on mm -hmm. Mount Doom. Yep, this is it. That's pr I love Frodo's little expression. I based my uh, Frodo's face off the, uh, the the rotoscoped old film. Do you remember that one? You know, anyone know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 I just liked his big nose. And then Candy, yours is also correct. Frodo throwing, it. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, into Kirby Mordor. Yep, the, <laughs> I love the tongue <laughs> out on it. It's so good. Feeding one very spicy onion to Kirby, AKA Mount Doom. He's worried because of hungry seagulls, okay? I do have to knock <laughs> up a point. Definitely not seagulls. Um, <laughs> Tolkien would roll over in his grave if he thought that <laughs> the seagulls were, that were what, I guess in this mythology where Frodo's taking a cursed onion ring, probably the seagulls can rescue him from the top. Well, we got a point, so that's one point to us. Uh, zero to Doug Doug. Uh, let's see if you can bring it around to the next round. Uh, Doug Doug, do you have a drawing for us? Uh, you, you ready? Yes. My art is now live. It is Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. There okay, oh. okay. Um, and don't worry, there's a huge hint here. Where is it? I know. <laughs> <laughs> is that supposed to be that? We can't say it. We got it. Yes. <laughs> are, we, are we ready to hit enter yet? Or do people still need time? We go. You good to go? Doug, yeah. are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's do this, guys. Three, two, one. Post it. Ah. The thing that people got wrong was that he's clearly making Pikachu burgers. So yeah. Oh, yeah. he has oh. rabbits from Fatal Attraction. Have no idea what that is, but you did get Guy Fieri being very stoked and even included the <laughs> his iconic bowling shirt, which is a wonderful okay. touch. Right. Oh, by the way, the hint, if you zoom in uh, really, mm -hmm. really close, on the right side in the middle, there's a single blue pixel, which is Earth, to show that he's on the moon. <laughs> oh, I actually did get, I, I did draw the Earth. I did. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, so oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Buff Ops it has the, uh, him cooking bunny moon pies, which I can see, which I can see now that I'm looking at my poorly drawn Pikachus. And then the two that are correct are bacon, which is Guy Fieri grilling up fat Pikachus. <laughs> you made the Pikachu a little, I was imagining it's like a burger patty shaped like a Pikachu, not like a real Pikachu being grilled 
killed on a like his corpse <laughs> with both of you guys, you <laughs> and Ross got. Yeah. So, uh, a little horrifying, but um, this one is beautiful. I like the moon sign that you have in the background and that he's throwing like a sick sign at them. And Ross, yours is beautiful as well. Also a little macabre, but at least yours mm -hmm. looks like it could be a stuffed animal. And so yeah. maybe he's not like a total lunatic. These are really good, guys. Oh, man. So that's a that's another point. That's an artist point. That's, that's another Woo! point. All right, guys, we're killing it. This one has another huge hint. Here is my next art. What? Yep. Uh, this uh, is something. Okay. I know, Your I reactions like are making me one. smell oh. of victory right here. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Here's our art. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Woo! I don't know if you guys are incredible at this, or I'm a way better artist than I thought. The worst one is huge nerd bids on abstract art in a public bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I look like? I don't know. I do love the expression of this nerd. He is easily more passionate about this shoe than anybody else, but mm. it's not quite correct. Okay, the next most incorrect is from Bacon. Steve Jobs presented his new hit idea, the iShoe Pro, in a gas station bathroom. I mean, technically, it's just a bathroom. I, it could be a gas station bathroom, but that is correct. It's Steve Jobs presenting the iShoe. I like that you added the Pro, and I like that you put him in a gas station. I like that his head is gigantic and sweaty. This is just, there's a lot going on here, which is great. I also like I didn't the think you guys would get price. all the icons, like just a bunch yeah. of colored squares on a on a shoe. I didn't think would connect. Oh, the hint, by the way, was there's clearly a lightning cable coming out the back. Obviously, oh, obviously that that's, a, that's an Apple product. So Ross's Steve Jobs <laughs> pre presents his new eye shoe in a public bathroom. Yes, correct. I shouldn't have given him hair. <laughs> the only the only hit that it was Steve Jobs was his black shirt, right? Like yeah, was there any yeah. Other indicator? I mean, no, it, it was that, and I don't know. I, the circular glasses, I think, are pretty iconic for him. Man, I'm I am very surprised you guys put that together. The apple on the shoe, on the lid of the shoe, is a really nice touch. Um, okay, Candy, Steve Jobs pitching the new eye shoe in a public bathroom. I like the new ribbon that you added on top of it. And I I really you can really tell that this is like if you walked into a bathroom, Steve Jobs might just ambush you and say, Hold on, like before you pee. <laughs> you need to do a market hear me test. out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can you can tell how Pat like he's going to interrupt you and make you wait to use the bathroom until he's seen the whole presentation. I made it a little bit slanted so we gave him an unhinged energy. And then Buff Pup, yours is basically perfect. Steve Jobs talking about the new iPhone called iFoot while presenting it in the women's bathroom, except it is the iShoe. So oh. th that was definitely a little bit off, but still very right. close. So we got another point. Yeah, that was oh quite good. God. Oh my god. Killing it right now. I guess we got, uh, go, let's go on to the next one and see see if you can turn this around, man. You're kind of getting, getting destroyed right now. Here is my next art. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to look this one up. You know what this feels like is when you start a new creative hobby, like, you know, trying to learn like piano right now, and you start and you just, you're so bad, but you, like, just, know, you, right, everything's awful. And then, and you're like, but you imagine, like, wow, it'll be so cool one day when, like, this idea I have in my head, like, turns awesome. That's what this is like. This is so cool. I put no work into it, and it feels like my art is just turning into five incredible pieces. Okay, sure. three, yeah. two, one, boop. Oh, that's so cool. damn, that's cool. <laughs> that's really cool. I can put his legs in. Wow. Okay. Damn, it honestly, buff, that could be a t shirt. That's so badass. <laughs> that's funny. Thanks. <laughs> These are all great. Candy, technically yours is the least accurate because you didn't say that they're on a pirate ship inside of a giant bowl of cereal. Spoon was the hit. Ah. With waves of milk. But I didn't color anything, which made it a little oh, bit I, harder. I thought that the spoon was Captain Crunch's weapon, so I drew him with the spoon. That's my oh, I'll, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I will I will give you more points though, because Tony the Tiger is pointing a sonic gun at Captain Crunch, and I like Probably that quite a lot. <laughs> Good detail. Tony the Tiger is about to eat Captain Crunch from Ross's. Okay. Mm. I thought I didn't know if you had them fighting. I just had them as a generic fight. Um, but you know what? Now I'll actually retcon this so that Tony the Tiger is currently consuming and boring okay. Captain Crunch. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, this is also a solid one. So I didn't say ship. Do I lose points for that? Because like, I mean, they, I said they're lost. They're at lost sea, at sea. And they're on a mm. boat, so it's like it's implied. It's implied. But I, I didn't. I even drew the mast. I just like you know, I didn't say it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to take away points from that. There's also a, a major thing you omitted is there's no sonic gun. <laughs> right, I did forget that. Yeah, yeah. Everybody else has got it. Bacon's Tony the Tiger and Captain Crunch fight, fight over who's the best cereal mascot. I was more thinking like Captain Crunch. 
like Tony's mom, and so he's like coming in to <laughs> kill him. But um, you know, I, I can understand whatever back lore you wanted to throw in there. This is correct. God. They are in a bowl of cereal with this crunch. Giwi's Tony the Tiger and Captain Crunch. I like that you capitalized Captain Crunch. Having a brutal pirate's battle on a sea of milk and cereal. I really like the pose over the neck. I like that you picked that Tony is winning. Like it wasn't clear to me for my drawing who's winning the fight. And clearly in you, like you interpret this as Tony is winning. He's, he's great. A, he's a tiger. Like yeah. he's just yeah. a guy. Have Don't you not seen look. One Piece? He can do it. Captain Crunch can do it. You think he added devil fruit? You know what? Captain Crunch does kind of have like white beard vibes. You know what I mean? That's true. Mm. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then a buff Captain Crunch fighting Tony the Tiger for who's the best cereal brand mascot on top of a ca captain shit inside a cereal bowl. So good. This is, that's real, real, real good. And yes, mm -hmm. that's correct. Um, still no Sonic gun. That's real, real, real good. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's awesome. on the water. <laughs> God. Milk. These are awesome, yeah. you guys. These are so cool. Oh my God. Well. We're definitely gonna win this, but do you want to do one more just so you can maybe redeem yourself for one point? I, I would like to do one more. And okay. with this one, it is, I think, quite maybe easier than this one, um, just because there's a huge hint in it. Let me go ahead okay. and give it to you. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> actually, I actually think I this. Dude, if I don't win off this, <laughs> like, come on. You guys are the. Uh, this is yeah. my chance. This is my Hail Mary. This is honestly your best chance because I only have one possible, even slight idea what this could be. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, oh you guys got it. Oh my God, we did? Okay, yeah. let's see it. Okay, well, the least accurate is the little gnomes that build <laughs> and give you your Tetris blocks, which <laughs> is way better than what I was thinking and never actually thought about who builds those. Oh, God, that's good. Valid. <laughs> okay, the hint, obviously, was that the bottom right guy is incredibly handsome. That was me. Mm. Oh, I got the order wrong. It's easy to confuse candy. And yeah, you know, okay. You are going to yeah. lose points for that, Ross. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I was at the top left. who's <laughs> clearly the least handsome one. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a bit insulted. No, you made little. You made my little pepper. This is so cute. Okay, yep. Ross got it right. All six of us drawing art together. Kiwi got it correct. All six of us drawing art together. Who's the piece of bacon? Me. That's bacon. I oh. I just think that was a draw. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, oh, no, God. All of us hang out drawing silly little drawings. And uh, this is actually the most correct. Sonic yeah. looking at Bowser and Luigi as he's sensually caressing his mustache. Mm, true. With his hand, YouTube algorithm, okay? Hand. We're just talking hand. about Sonic and hand. hand. I'm impressed you guys got that. That was my <laughs> final test. That was real good. All right, you got bodied. Um, what are we making in post? I do have to do a sponsored tweet on Thursday. So be <laughs> funny be if this is like 10 minutes before that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I take whatever the piece is and just in like crayon right sponsored by blizzard <laughs> <laughs> the little gnomes that build and give you your tetris blocks is funny with no context yeah, <laughs> like, that like, like that's the, pretty good. If that's the caption too i freaking love gnomes never in my life thought about what creatures are building the tetris blocks while you play man <laughs> i i'm fine with that if you want to post that uh, can, can I reply with a follow-up, which is the Tony the Tiger image, and it says, sure. me when people don't realize that gnomes are building your Tetris blocks? Sure. Posted. <laughs> I'll just reply <laughs> under that, sponsored by Diablo 4. <laughs> Diablo 4, out now. Play it. Out now. Blizzard's like, what the f*** is this tweet? <laughs>